This morning in the blend, we have with us Steve Windham, back with us, Senior Director of Development for the Walk to End Alzheimer's. Steve, the walk is coming up on Sunday, September 27th. It's going to look a little bit differently this year. Can you tell us about it? Yeah, definitely. So this year, walk is everywhere. So um, safety and health are our biggest concerns. And so we're not gathering in one large group at our normal event site. But what we are doing is walking everywhere. We're going to have a live broadcast at opening ceremony, still telling all of the stories of our local community members struggling with this issue, but at the same time, still having all of the great feeling and interaction of our normal walk day, just not all together, but walking everywhere with our teams, friends and family. And we know that this is a fundraiser. It's a very large fundraiser for you and a very important fundraiser. Talk about how the funds will help the community. Definitely. And we're very proud of how they do get to help. Um, one of the biggest things that we have available around the state and even in the community is something called respite relief. And so those caregivers who might be needing a time to themselves need to go run some errands, need to be able to have someone care for their loved one who's living with dementia or Alzheimer's. We actually have relief to allow for that. We also have care consultations for if you're just starting out with your journey here on the Alzheimer's disease or dementia, as well as education and programming to remove the stigma and help people more understand the disease with the warning signs and maybe get ahead of this a little farther, but it's all there to support the community. And majority of our things are free as well. And we even have business education, lunch and learns, all kinds of great things for the community to get involved. So if somebody's listening today and thinking, I wanna get involved, I wanna help out, what's the biggest way that the community can show the support? Yeah, the, the best way is to start a team. So you can go to act.alz.org slash Lansing or just go to alz.org slash walk and start your team. That's the biggest thing we need right now. We need our team captains to stand with our caregivers and our patients and our researchers, and we need you to walk. So throw on your purple, dye your hair purple, get your tutu, and get out there on the 27th and still show that our fight to end Alzheimer's is not waning. Even during this pandemic, we're dealing with an epidemic and we need everyone to still help us fight it. You mentioned dyeing your hair purple and wearing tutus. People have fun with this. That's the thing is you're raising money, but you're having fun. Yeah, you're, you're not alone. And it's a lot of fun energy. We, we build it on hope that one day we're going to have that first survivor of Alzheimer's. And it's going to take all of us. All of us need to get involved. All of us need to be aware. And all of us can walk. And so you can walk on every trail, every track, or your favorite you know, sidewalk as well. So we all want to get out there and walk this year um, more than ever. We need everyone now. Steve, real quick, talk about the numbers in, in Michigan alone. Yeah, we, we know that there's uh, nearly 190,000 Michiganders living with the issue of Alzheimer's and dementia this year, and also their unpaid caregivers. So, so many countless of people who are caring for these 190,000 Michiganders, we all need that help right now.